Almost a decade ago, the people of the city created a vision for its future. They envisioned the city to be a vibrant, mixed-use, sustainable community where folks could live, work, and play. Destination Portsmouth is the next step in the realization of that vision. Portsmouth has successfully done what thousands of communities across the U.S. are hoping to do, a full rewrite of our land use regulations that allow for our city to implement our community's vision, a vision of smarter, more sustainable growth. When, when I think of one person who, who will benefit um, from the foundational elements of Destination Portsmouth, it really makes me think of 95,000 citizens. Because when you think about the ability to have sustainable, livable development in your community, just by changing some of your regulations, it's to the benefit of all. By rezoning the entire city, Destination Portsmouth gives residents a choice on where to build their homes and allows them to connect back to our downtown core. People can now choose to build their homes on vacant lots like these and in neighborhoods that are within walking distance to schools, amenities, and downtown businesses rather than being forced to build out in the suburbs. The, the code really established a new foundation for the city. One of the biggest areas of the city where we hope the destination Portsmouth codes will make a big difference is here on London Boulevard, which is currently a commercial corridor and a limited access highway. The new codes will have developers add in street trees, pedestrian scale lighting, and new bike lanes so that when near future residential development begins, it'll transform this area into a mixed use livable portion of the city that has a lot of connectivity to our existing urban fabric. So it becomes extremely exciting, again, for the sustainable development piece to attract more people to that general area. You know, it's the things that really help crime go down because you have a presence of people. So I'm here on High Street and a couple of the great things that we hope to see in the near future under the Destination Portsmouth framework include all new infill redevelopment consisting of mixed use buildings that have residential dwelling units, office space, and all new commercial. And for a multimodal corridor, we hope to have bike lanes along all of the streets and even in the near future, some mass transit where somebody now has the opportunity to kind of associate with where they work, actually live above, you know, where they eat their dinner, and then they actually can walk their dog that evening, you know, down the same street and really bring life to the street that normally was closed about six o'clock in the evening. Coming from our industrial past, one of our greatest opportunities now is gonna be our waterfront. The codes work to preserve the Chesapeake Bay by reducing stormwater runoff and enhancing water quality by limiting large surface parking lots and by promoting low impact development solutions to prevent pollution from going back into the waterways. We are now, instead of turning our backs to the river, we're now able to um, use those for some real high quality premium areas for redevelopment that most other cities don't have as a natural feature. You know, with the military presence that we have here, the Coast Guard, the Navy, uh, one of the older naval shipyards here as well, it really has created an opportunity for folks to be able to live, work, and play here. So the Destination Portsmouth plans absolutely represent a huge leap forward in offering our existing residents and new residents choices that they didn't have before to come live back downtown, to come live back in our old historic neighborhoods, and these new residential homes coupled with improvements that we're making along city streets are gonna allow folks to make those living choices that they didn't have as an option before.